Welcome to your weekly UAS news update, the place where you don't get your news two weeks late. This is the week of November 15, 2021, and this week I get four topics. The first one is our friends at SkyBrowser releasing, releasing new features, and we're going to have Bobby on the show talking about exactly what's going on. Uh, DRL, the Drone Racing League, is releasing a new drone racing game. It's actually quite fun. I've been playing with it a little bit this afternoon, and I'm going to invite you to do the same thing. Uh, Amazon Prime Air, not so much uh, good news on that side. They're talking about uh, what happened with the, the French R&D team that was disbanded recently. And then we'll talk about the implication and kind of a, a bit of a history with Amazon Prime Air uh, in the last couple of months. Not uh, such good news. And then lastly, we'll talk about a Black Friday sale because, well, it's right around the corner. So let's get to it. And the first story this week comes from our friends at SkyBrowse. And SkyBrowse, if you don't know them, they are a mapping a software that will create uh, 3D solutions in a very short amount of time. We've talked about them before. You've actually seen Bobby, their CEO, on uh, some of our videos being funny behind the scene a couple weeks ago. And uh, and actually today, to talk about the latest release that they had is Bobby Uyang, the CEO of Skybra. So Bobby, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So Bobby, tell us a little bit more about this latest release and kind of what it means to the public safety agency users that are using SkyBrowse at the moment. So it all boils down to our mission statement of simplifying emergency response. Uh, we happen to do it really easily with our software, but really the goal is to make the lives of public safety a lot easier. And initially what we started off with was our two minute 3D modeling. You press one button and the drone flies itself. It'll record video and make a 3D model in about two minutes or so, uh, just a two minute flight. So uh, it started off as that, but then we realized, hey, there's still a lot of paperwork being done in the office. I mean, behind the desk, an officer could be spending three to five hours every single day doing paperwork. And when you're spending all that time doing paperwork, that also means decreased or increased response times. Um, so what I mean by that is you're spending all that time in the paperwork, doing paperwork, and uh, whenever there's a call, well, you have people in the office instead of on the streets, you know, working. So uh, this new feature that we released, it's uh, one button press paperwork. So when you're done making a 3D model of, say, a fatality accident, well, now all you have to do is just write some annotations on the 3D model, click generate. And in our 3D model viewer, in about 10 seconds or so, you'll get a PDF document of a factual diagram. And it's identical to the one that you'd get with a total station, all accurate down to one centimeter on the X, Y, and the Z axis. Wow, that's amazing. And so th this paperwork, typically it involves, and we'll put examples so you guys can see exactly what's going on, but this paperwork typically involves what kind of information? So it gives you a top-down uh, bird's eye view with north heading up as well of the uh, 3D model. So it's almost like a 2D map of the entire scene and also shows you all the annotations in it. So if you have shell casings in it or any guns or blood splatters, you annotate that and it'll also show up on the top down view. And then if you scroll down, there's also the measurements tab. So you just set a reference point somewhere in the center of the 3D model. And then afterwards, all you have to do is just scroll down and you'll be able to see all the measurements in relation to the reference point. So it's a standardized paperwork reporting process. And uh, best part is, it's free in the state of California. So uh, through OTS, if you talk to your grant administrator and ask for SkyBrowse reconstruction software, you'll be able to get SkyBrowse free of charge through OTS. Wow, that's amazing. So hopefully our public safety agencies that work in California and anywhere else in the country, quite frankly, uh, give you guys a call and, and see what this is all about. You, you came up with the idea of this software. We talked about this before. Uh, after something happened to you with your motorcycle and you realized that they took a ton of time to process the scene. Can you tell us about what the software has changed for public safety agencies and maybe also how it can be used outside of public safety agencies? Yeah, well, it started off, well, we launched our product January of 2020 and it sucked it was uh it didn't work most of the time when it worked it worked okay but it didn't work most of the time so we spent a lot of time just taking feedback from public safety and making it a lot better to where it is today where we don't get too many complaints about the software i mean it is just one button press there's not much you can do to uh, mess it up and then afterwards um, we just started listening more and more to public safety and we're building industry specific features for public safety. So a feature for search and rescue, a feature for tactical, a feature for better accident reconstruction, this new feature that we're talking about right now. And then future, of course, well, we, we do plan on building out other features for different industries. For instance, like construction, just because 
currently we have a few construction clients that ended up purchasing Skybrows. Uh, we don't market towards construction at all. We don't do any presentations for construction companies. I guess they just found us and they realized this is a really good solution for 3D modeling. Wow, that's awesome. Anything that you guys are working on next that you can share? Ooh, Android. Yes, the, the elephant in the room. Everybody's asking about Android because we're iOS only. And I, I want to preface this by saying um, it, it's a lot easier to code for iOS than it is for Android. At least three years ago when I coded up our Android app. I'm pretty sure if you... I don't think it's public anymore, but I was looking at my Android dashboard for the Google Play Store analytics, and uh, I had one-star reviews across the board, like 20 <laughs> one-star reviews. And right now on iOS, if you look at Skybrows, it has 4.9 stars out of like 90 reviews or something like that. So um, I want to preface this by saying there's a lot of permutations for Android. Um, there's like a billion different Android versions with like so many Android devices. So like the combinatorial is like something in the millions of different versions we have to test out. Whereas for iOS, it's just, there's like 10 iOS devices in the world. So it's a lot easier to code for iOS and test it out on an iPad and an iPhone, something like that. Yeah. We did finally hire an Android developer and um, he is working very hard on building out our Android app and it'll support smart controllers, both Autel and DJI, and also all Android devices, some of the newer ones. Wow, that's awesome. I was actually going to ask about the smart controller. I'm sure a lot of people would be happy to hear this because we, we, uh, that's actually a question that we got when you and I did the podcast uh, on the Pixel Drone Show. Some people were asking about that, so that's exciting. Well, Bobby, thanks a lot for your time. Uh, how can people get a hold of you or see the product information? Yeah, shoot me an email, bobby at skybrows.com. Uh, make sure there's an E after the sky. Otherwise, it'll go to uh, someone else's inbox. But uh, best way to do that is just shoot me an email. Otherwise, if you want to reach our team, you can also go to our contact form on our website and learn more about Skybrows. Outstanding. Well, Bobby, thanks for your time, and then uh, we'll see you very soon. All right, the second topic this week is the DRL. The Drone Racing League is releasing a new uh, arcade-type drone racing mobile game. This is a mobile game. We haven't really seen much uh, many drone or drone related games, actually I don't think I've seen any, uh, on the uh, the popular platform Apple and Android devices. Uh, this game is free, it's developed by Scales, which is the leading mobile game uh, platform developers uh, on, uh, well, online at this stage. And uh, it's going to be, it's available already, you can play with it. It's actually pretty intuitive, I would say. Uh, you can use your finger to move around and, and collect some points uh, as you're racing the drone. Now, I, I have to say this is not like flying a real drone. Okay, this is more of a, uh, a waste time at the bus station type of game uh, rather than something where you're going to improve your skills. But it's fun, and, and especially you know if you're into drones and you want to you want to do something else than uh, do some of the stupid games on your phone. Uh, that's uh, that's a, a good option right here. Now, starting in December, you'll also have the ability to compete in tournaments and actually win some exclusive prizes. I'm not sure what the prizes are, but uh, we'll uh, we'll find out more. I'm sure about this with the DRL. So go take a look at it. We'll put. A link down in the description. The next thing is talking about Amazon Prime Air and um, it, this is a report that came from Bloomberg and it looks like this is something that happened back in September of 2020 that may have been a predictive event of what happened in the UK uh, in August. Now in the UK in August uh, Amazon Prime fired 100 employees from their drone delivery operation. This was in August. And then it looks like about a year before, in September of 2020, uh, this was finally reported. Amazon moved a bunch of people, about a dozen people in the team that were on the R&D side of things uh, in, uh, in France. And um, they moved them away from drone delivery completely to non-drone positions. Now, this is kind of interesting. Um, some of you know that I've been fairly critical about drone deliveries in general. Not, I don't know if I would say critical, uh, skeptic, skeptical about drone deliveries in general in the U.S., especially for packages and for uh, last mile type of packages. Uh, I don't know if it's sustainable. In my head, it's just uh, a lot of added noise and not really something that I'm really all that interested in. But, um, but it's an interesting concept. Uh, I do believe that drone deliveries are pretty awesome for uh, medical purposes where you, we, we will have the ability to send, and we already do, uh, send samples from hospital to hospital and some uh, information that is, um, well, timely uh, using drones rather than using something on the ground. So um, I'm sure there will be more, uh, more information about this in the future about Amazon Prime Air, but this doesn't look so good at the moment. 
All right, last topic this week. This is a good one. Our Black Friday sale is actually starting today. Uh, this is the only time a year that we do this type of a discount. People ask for it kind of year long. Hey, can I get the, the Black Friday discount? This is the only time a year where we actually discount the courses uh, to the level that we do. So uh, this includes our Part 107 Made Easy. So if you haven't signed up yet, if you're looking for a little bit of an incentive to do it, this is a good time. Obviously, all of our courses have lifetime access. So even if you buy them today, you can stock up and then use them later. Uh, this is a great time great time of year to actually get access to information, accurate information, uh, current information, and pretty much at this stage at the best possible price of any courses online for the amount of stuff that you get. So um, get to it, pilotinstitute.com. We'll put some link down in here and um, that's all I have. So as always, like, subscribe, leave your comments, and then I will talk to you guys next week.